everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just going to get ready using the simply posh northern lights palette i'm really excited for this um but first i just want to say please go follow me on instagram link will be down below i'm trying really hard to get to thousand followers and i am so close um and i would really appreciate it if you followed me over there so my camera setup is a little bit different today um i actually can't see um like me at all within the camera so I really hope that like everything is good and um, let's just get my mirror set up so my mirror is underneath you um but yeah I just wanted to get ready I do have to go to work I'm actually filming like my first reel where I'm in it so that's really exciting I'm gonna use the touch and soul icy sherbet primer this is a weird one um I just got this in that boxy charm pop-up last month so super exciting because I wanted it like a lot and it is cool it's such a weird texture I'm just taking off the lid um I don't really know what it does or if it does anything but that's not why we're here you know so how is it going good okay I hope everybody enjoyed Monday's video I'll uh, link that down below too. It was a collab and it was a build your own palette and it was really exciting. So, If you haven't seen it, go watch it. All right, so I do know what I want to use for the palette um, for mattes. I really want to use the Aubergine in the Norvina Volume 3. It's the shade here, maybe even a little bit of that. Exciting. So let's grab a primer. I think I'm going to do, um, oh yeah, I'm going to use my P. Louise primer today. I haven't used it in a while. And she is legit. She is a staple. She never lets me down. I did order the Gerard Cosmetics. They were doing the Christmas in July sale. So I did order the Clean Canvas base. I'm really excited to try it. I've heard nothing but good things. Um, I'm in the process of doing a, a declutter. Um, it's not going to be super big, but it's going to definitely be um, maybe shocking some of the things that are on there that are really just like, he didn't like that. Just really all different kinds of things. Where's my mirror? There it is. All right, let's get Mr. Pineapple. All right, and let's triple check this. I hope the lighting isn't too weird in today's video. It's like overcast outside. Hmm. You know, my skin has seen better days. Don't know what's happening with that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna just take a Jeffree Star Morphe brush. This is the JS5. It's just a big fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go into, hmm, maybe I'll do, don't want to do okay I'm gonna dip into C3 which is the shade next to it just to create like a transition just a little to something so yeah I was thinking about using this crease because it's it's a really pretty shade um so what else is up with you guys what are some products you're talking yourself out of buying? Because I am going on a no buy. Because I blew my budget. <laughs> and I need to calm it down. It's truly amazing how much money one person can spend. It really is. All right, so now we're dipping into C4, which is the aubergine that I'm like really, really excited about. And of course, this is going to be a lighter application of the shade because it's on a fluffy brush. But I will pack this on if need be. Let's move these things out of my way. Okay. Wow, I barely even blended that and it already looked... Wow, these mattes really do blend themselves. Um, the only main complaint I have on this palette is there's not a lot of depth... But luckily for me, I've got four billion jillion other palettes um, that I can mix into it if I need to. And I think I'll go in with a smaller brush and really pack that outer corner. I can always deepen it up maybe with 
No, this shade is literally... So I got the palette for $24 from BoxyCharm, and I would say it's worth it for this aubergine. It's really pretty, and I like saying aubergine. I guess it could also be a bit of a whiny purple, too, if you don't want to be an aubergine queen. I'm sorry, I know. I'm trying to get better at not having any awkward spots of silence in my videos because I don't edit them like that. Because one, I don't know how to, I don't actually have a computer, my husband has a computer, and I don't know how to do anything on that thing, because it's like a little gaming computer, and I don't want to download software and clog it up. I like It's one of those where I'm like, I'm not, I'm not messing with that. Uh, it's already nerve-wracking enough trying to print something on there, and you're like, oh god, I hope I don't do something wrong. And then I will put concealer on and that'll like clean this little outer corner up. I'm gonna go in with some more. This is gonna be a really simple look because I'm really just gonna use that one main shade. Um, what shade was it? Accent? Sorry, electric. And I might throw a little bit of right on the outer corner oh again so this is the simply posh palette is what i'm going to use on my eyes i ordered it on their launch day and it shipped to me within a week um i do live in the state it shipped from so that was clearly on my side but i mean they still shipped it the saturday the, like it, it launched on a saturday right no it launched on a friday and it shipped on monday i mean you really can't be that, you know, all right, let's take this little Morphe E17 brush, this little packing guy, and I'm really just gonna layer this on the outer corner just so it looks like there's a bit of depth. Um, when I put the shadow on, I want you know to look a little darker in the outer corner. You know, the shade reminds me of a better version of the reddish color in the uh, Manny MUA collab with Makeup Geek. Remember that thing? Okay, we're getting a little weird right here, uh, but you guys can't see it. I just don't know what's happening there. I also have an Alien Cosmetics palette coming today, um, the Jelly palette, which I bought before, with like no indication of what the palette looked like, and I spent a pretty penny on it, so I'm excited to have that and see if it was worth kind of buying it on a whim without really knowing much about it. Um, I do have the Strawberry Milkshake palette from them, I just haven't used it yet. I'm thinking about doing a joint video with both of the palettes. So you can just kind of do like a little one-stop shop for the brand. Yeah, that crease shade isn't even there anymore, is it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, for this to be one eyeshadow, I think it looks pretty great. Well, that other little one's under there somewhere, but realistically, I don't. I don't think we're seeing it. I don't. I don't think we're seeing it. Okay, so again, we're gonna take. I'm gonna take electric and possibly either drizzling or bright, maybe on the outer corner, but electric is definitely the shade that's been calling to me and I am not going to be using a glitter glue so you're going to see the shadow in all of its glory so let me get up real close and I'm gonna use my finger for this so you see that oh my god I barely tapped into that eyeshadow, too. Oh 
my god. I'm just gonna... I just need to go closer to my inner corner. I don't want to mess that up. I barely touched that shade. Oh my god. In a good way, it's giving me Astro Pink vibes from Kaleidos. How funny. I'm just gonna like tap some of that shimmer over. Oh, that just looks amazing. Oh my God. Stop it. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to, maybe I'll, no, no, I think, that's a dud shade, okay, um, Vivid was, uh, you know, I think, I think I'm gonna leave it, and then I'm gonna just take my brush that had that darker shade on it and I'm just going like that don't really know what it's gonna do just figured I'd do it oh and I know what I'm gonna use for inner corner oh wow do you see all good purchases and then we're gonna use copacetic I think it's Mill Millicent is the blue one, I think. But I am going to do my base. Um, should we do that on camera? What time is it? Mm, yeah, let's do it on camera because this eye look was kind of easy. Um, I just need to clean my hand off. Um, this is definitely not a super unique shade to this palette. That, you know, turquoise red reflect duochrome thing. Um, but... Still stunning nonetheless. So let's go in with the tiniest bit. I'm not a foundation girl, um, but we need um, we need a little bit of something. So we're gonna go in with my L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. This is one of my favorite products for, um, just to give my face a little bit of tint um, because I look kind of fair right now. You know what I mean, this is in the shade Medium Glow 903, and I purchased this because of Twin Tutorials, and it was one of the best things I've ever done. And a really, I really just use a little bit, just to help get rid of the fact that my skin looks really fair, or I look really pale because I have no tan because I don't go outside because outside hurts me and my little brain. I'll also have these earrings listed down below. Got them from Etsy, from one of my girls. One of my favorite Etsy's. I only have like three that I order from, so it's one of the three. Although I did buy some new earrings and those will be their own thing. I ordered those from AM. Concealer should be used, excuse me. Let's use the Tarte Ultra Creamy. It's been a while. Um, I just ordered from, is it Indus City? Something like that. She's a Native American um, TikToker based in Canada. And her earrings are freaking amazing. They're the, one of the most expensive pairs I've gotten, but like also one of the most elaborate pairs if that makes sense like they the price matches what they are um concealer 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 um smashbox uh, cream cheek brush i'm debating on if i should pull some of the 
aubergine to the low. I am so sorry <laughs> if you're here still. My God. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to pull some of that under the lower lash line a little bit because my inner corner is going to be a little bit blown out as well because with the flakies, it's really easy to just kind of like use your finger and you get like this whole area covered and they just look so good. Let's triple check this blend here. This is one of the best brushes ever. Okay, so I'm going to dust this brush off because it has those glitters on it and I'm going to just... Dab once into the C4 shade, look down, smudgeroo. Really gonna focus it on the outer corner because it is literally 11 in the afternoon. <sighs> Honestly, this is exactly what I was hoping it was gonna look like. Maybe even better. Honestly, I'm going to have to clean that corner up. Sorry. All right, so I'm going to just clean this little, like, whoop, whoop. Stop it. It looks... I'm retiring. Um, let's get a little bit of brows on. I like to kind of have that done before I do my inner corner, like for balance. Um, does that even make sense? I don't know. I don't care. We don't have to make sense here. What are we gonna, oh. what are we gonna use for blush today? That's the question. What are we gonna use for blush today? Brows really help tie things together, don't they? Um, let's take, since I'm going to work, I'm gonna set a little bit under my eye, um, just so that I don't look horrendous in a couple hours, you know what I mean? Like, we don't need them to be like, Olivia, you look, you need to leave, you know? It's not, it's not what we want. It's not what we want. Another good thing, too, if you are my skin tone, if you feel like you match me, um, the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion in this shade, when I blow my nose, it doesn't, um, it doesn't pull, like, it doesn't leave a big spot where, like, foundation used to be. So that's good. This looks sick. Okay, um, inner corner. You know, maybe we will do a brush. Let's use this little Morphe GH39. And again, in the Copacetic Quad, we're taking this blue one. And this is really, I don't know why I'm even trying to pick this up on a brush. Cause I don't want it, oh my God. I don't want it to look like wild, okay? We're going to work. I suppose a lot of you already like, well, you already work a job where you can go to work and look like this, so. I don't think I could ever work a job with like a proper, proper uniform. Like, only professional makeup kind of a thing, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, screw it. We're going with the finger. Just wait until you see how much this is gonna amp this up, yeah.
I just like to start somewhere, okay? Sometimes I just wanna... I just wanna start somewhere. Oh. Well, here we are. Okay, so for my face, I took the Janessa Myricks Contour Balm in the shade Medium 2. I put that on, but then it looked way too warm, so I went in with the Waterproof Cream Palette, and I used these top two shades here um, to deepen it up and cool it down, and then I went in with Salt New York, the Rose Blush, and the Beige Highlight. And mascara, I did use um, the Maybelline Sky High, and I do want to say I've had that mascara since like January or whenever it came out, and it really um, hasn't dried down, which kind of sucks because it's really easy to mess up, um, but I guess it's good if you aren't using a lot of mascaras. I don't know. And then I'm just going to take Lime Crime Bel uh, Plushy, and this is in Turkish Delight, and I'm going to take a really little amount. And I really just want this focus like on the outer portion of the lip. Just to change the color of my lips um, to help make it match kind of the vibe of everything. And I am just going to like blot the middle though. Yeah. All right, so that is the finished look. Um, again, I did only use one shade from the Northern Lights palette, but you know what? It was beautiful. Um, you can see the textures of the shadows. Some of them are that squishy, super texture shadow like the one I just used, but others are a bit more flat. So I'm glad I got this. I don't think I'm going to get any more of these types of palettes because I've got this. I have Sugar Drizzle, and then I've got... I did pre-order the Adept palettes like two months ago, so maybe one day they'll come. I don't know. It's a lot. Adept is not a very nice brand, so I, it's a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so please comment down below if you've tried any of these kinds of squishy eyeshadow palettes or if you're looking to get this one. And please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And definitely go follow me on Instagram, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.